Hi, I'm Daryl Lee, and welcome to another exciting episode of The Southern Way. Just recently, I went back to my old stomping grounds in Mississippi and discovered something that really, really surprised me. Now, we've all seen the movies and heard the stories of the gypsies, how they used crystal balls and tarot cards and traveled from place to place. But I'll bet you had no idea that the burial site of the king and queen of the gypsies is located in East Mississippi. Check it out. Meridian, Mississippi played an important role in the history of the Gypsy people. Meridian is located near the Alabama-Mississippi border, and its biggest claim to fame might be that it's the hometown of award-winning actress Celia Ward. Yet the town of Meridian holds a little-known secret. Except for the thousands of Meridian Knights who live here, few Americans know that this town is the final resting place of a very colorful queen. For years, gypsies themselves couldn't agree on their origins, but their linguistic roots trace back to what is now northwestern India. The ancestors of the gypsies migrated from India through the Balkans and finally dispersed across portions of Europe. Now, European history hasn't always been kind to the gypsies. They weren't always welcome and were often persecuted, with many rulers issuing edicts that all adult gypsies be unceremoniously beheaded without any sort of trial. Looking for a better life, many gypsies fled to North and South America, with many eventually winding up in the southeastern United States. Okay, here's something I bet you didn't know. Gypsies prefer a nomadic life and live under the laws and customs of their ancestors. To this day, there are no actual records of their wanderings and no fixed century from which they sprang. However, records of them existed as early as 1348 in Serbia now called Yugoslavia. There's no up-to-date census of the number of gypsies in the world today, but to gaze into my crystal ball for these interesting facts. So back to the story. What's the connection between gypsy royalty and Meridian, Mississippi? At the beginning of the 20th century, many gypsies had migrated to the Americas looking for a better way of life. This included Kelly Mitchell, the queen of the gypsy nation. Mitchell's group settled in Alabama. On January 31st, 1915 in Coatopa, Alabama, Queen Mitchell died while giving birth to her 15th child. Legend has it that her people offered a doctor $10,000 to try to save her life. Unfortunately, he was unsuccessful. Even though Kelly Mitchell died in Alabama, Meridian was chosen as her burial place because it was the nearest city with enough ice to preserve her body until the funeral. According to reports, the queen remained on ice for six weeks so they could call in all the bands of gypsies from around the world. I wonder if that's where James Brown's family got that idea. But I digress. Today, the grave of Gypsy Queen Kelly Mitchell lies at Rose Hill Cemetery in Meridian, located just off of 40th and 8th Avenue directly across from Calvary Christian School. You can drive into the cemetery where you're immediately greeted by the Queen and her family. Queen Kelly's burial at Rose Hill turned the cemetery into one of the main Romani burial grounds in the southeast. Her husband Emil, King of the Gypsy Nation, her successor Flora, and numerous other gypsies have been buried alongside her. Visitors often come to pay their respects, covering the graves with gifts like Mardi Gras beads, coins, rocks, and other strange paraphernalia. Some people believe that if you leave an offering at Mitchell's grave, it will entice her spirit to visit you in your dreams and give you answers to your problems. As you can see, the burial site of the Mitchell clan has become weathered by elements, vandals, and the general ravages of time but it still remains one of Meridian's most interesting attractions, a reminder of a colorful time in the town's history. So if you believe the whole notion of leaving offerings for Queen Mitchell to help you solve your problems, the next time you're in Meridian, be sure to stop by and pay her a visit. I wonder if she'll accept my old comic books. Lord knows I've got my share of problems. See you next time on The Southern Way.